All the richest of the people long to see your face. Behind her, her maiden companions are escorted to the king. Her attendants are escorted to you amid gladness and joy. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Grace, mercy, and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ be with you. Welcome to Mass this morning. Uh, welcome if you're participating via the internet. As ever, when we are able, Saturday is a Mass of Our Lady when we give thanks for her example as the first disciple. Yesterday was the feast of Our Lady of Lourdes, so we should offer this Mass for that great place of pilgrimage where so many sick people are comforted and relieved. To prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries, let us call to mind and confess our sins. Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, we have sinned against you and against our neighbour in thought and word and deed, through negligence, through weakness, through our own deliberate fault. We are truly sorry and repent of all our sins. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, who died for us, forgive us all that is past and grant that we may serve you in newness of life to the glory of your name. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Almighty God, who forgives all who truly repent, have mercy upon you, pardon and deliver you from all your sins. Confirm and strengthen you in all goodness and keep you in life eternal through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us pray. Pardon the faults of your servants, we pray, O Lord that we who cannot please you by our own deeds may be saved through the intercession of the mother of your Son and our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God for ever and ever. Amen. first reading is taken from the first book of Kings. Jeroboam thought to himself, as things are, the kingdom will revert to the house of David if this people continue to go up to the temple of the Lord in Jerusalem to offer sacrifices. These people's hearts will turn back against their Lord, Rehoboam, king of Judah. So they will put me to death. So the king thought this over and made two golden calves. He said to the people, You have been going up to Jerusalem long enough. Here are your gods, Israel. These brought you up out of the land of Egypt. He set one up in Bethel, and the people went to the temple in the procession all the way up to Dan in front of, in front of the other. He set up the families who were not in the sons of Levi. Jeroboam also instituted a feast in the eighth month, on the 15th of the month, like the feast that was kept in Judah. He went up to the altar. That was how he behaved in Bethel, sacrificing the calves he had made, and that Bethel he put the priests of the high places he had established. Jeroboam did keep not give up his wicked ways after this incident, but went on appointing priests for the high places from the common people. 
he consecrated as priest of the high places anyone who wished to be. Such conduct made the house of Jeroboam a sinful house and caused the ruin and extinction from the place of the earth. The response to the psalm is, O Lord, remember me out of the love you have for your people. O Lord, remember me out of the love you have for your people. Our sin is sin of our fathers. We have done wrong. Our deeds have been evil. Our fathers, when they were in Egypt, paid no heed to your wonderful deeds. O Lord, remember me out of the love of your people. They fashioned a calf at Horeb and worshipped an image of metal, exchanged the God who was their glory for the image of a bull that eats grass. O oh Lord, remember me out of the love you have for your people. They forgot the God who was their saviour, who had done such great things in Egypt such portents in the land of Ham, such marvels at the Red Sea. O oh Lord, remember me out of the love you have for your people. Alleluia, Alleluia. Alleluia! Man does not live on bread alone, but on every word that comes from the mouth of God. Alleluia! 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 The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. A great crowd had gathered, and they had nothing to eat. So Jesus called his disciples to him and said to them, I feel sorry for all these people. They've been with me for three days now and have nothing to eat. If I send them off home hungry, they will collapse on the way. Some have come a great distance. His disciples replied, Where could anyone get bread to feed these people in a deserted place like this? He asked them, How many loaves have you? Seven, they said. Then he instructed the crowd to sit down on the ground and he took the seven loaves, and after giving thanks, he broke them and handed them to his disciples to distribute. And they distributed them among the crowd. They had a few small fish as well, and over these he said a blessing and ordered them to be distributed also. They ate as much as they wanted and they collected seven basketfuls of the scraps left over. Now, there had been about 4,000 people. He sent them away and immediately, getting into the boat with his disciples, he went to the region of Dalmanutha. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Christ, in the power of the Spirit and in union with Christ. Let us pray now to our Heavenly Father. We give thanks to God that in the Eucharist, Christ comes to us to satisfy our deepest needs as he gives himself to us in the bread and wine, his body and his blood.
We pray for grace that we may never take this holy exchange for granted. We pray for the Shrine of Our Lady of Lourdes and for all who are pilgrims there today, for those who will be lowered into the waters, for those who will be nourished with the bread of life, for the Shrine staff and for so many volunteers who give of themselves to care for the sick in that holy place. We remember too that yesterday was the world day for the sick. So we give thanks to God for those who care for us through the National Health Service, for all doctors and nurses, for all counsellors and therapists. And we pray for all who are involved in medical research. We give thanks to God that a vaccine was found to combat the coronavirus and we pray that that vaccine may be more generously shared with the poorer countries of our world. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. We continue to pray for the situation between Russia and the Ukraine and Russia and the United States of America. that there may be peace. We pray for the people of Afghanistan and the Yemen and for all who cry out through any kind of oppression. We pray that the people of this earth may be set free to praise their creator and to live in harmony. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for our parish, that we may grow in holiness. We pray for those participating in this Eucharist through the internet, and for that wider community connected to our parish through technology. We remember those who are in need, praying especially for Pauline, for Mike, Anne and Claire, for Julie, Jill, Tony and Marjorie, for David, Jane, Julia and Cara, for Maria Teresa, for Derek, Beryl, Sharon, Dorothy, Evie May and Shirley. We pray that they may find healing and hope in the wounds of Christ. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And we pray for those who have died recently, for Annette Peacock and Bernard Coombs, for Hilda Berman, Anne Tossel, and Keith Pickard in years mind, and for all those we love but see no longer. And we commend the living and the departed to the gracious intercession of Mary, the mother of the Lord, as we say, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Merciful Father, accept these prayers for the sake of your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, I leave you peace, my peace I give to you. Look not on our sins but on the faith of your church and grant us the peace and unity of your kingdom where you live forever and ever. 
Amen. The peace of the Lord be always with you. Peace be with you, one and all. Peace, peace. Please sit down for a moment. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, which earth has given and human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. By the mystery of this water and this wine, may we come to share in the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself and shared in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Lord, wash away my iniquity. Cleanse from my sinfulness. Pray, dear friends, that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at our hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Accept, O Lord, the offerings we bring you and grant that, enlightened by the Holy Spirit and encouraged by the example of the Blessed Virgin Mary, our hearts may always seek out and treasure the things that are yours through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please stand. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, and to praise, bless, and glorify your name in veneration of the blessed ever-Virgin Mary. For by the overshadowing of the Holy Spirit, she conceived your only begotten Son, and without losing the glory of a virginity, brought forth into the world the eternal light, Jesus Christ our Lord. Therefore, with angels and archangels, and with all the company of heaven, we proclaim your great and glorious name, forever praising you and saying, Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Lord, you are holy indeed, the source of all holiness. Grant that by the power of your Holy Spirit and according to your holy will, these gifts of bread and wine may be for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, who, in the same night that he was betrayed, took bread and gave you thanks. He broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take, eat. This is my body, which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way, after supper, he took the cup and gave you thanks. He gave it to them, saying, Drink this, all of you. 
This is my blood of the new covenant which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. The mystery of faith. Christ has died. Christ is risen. Christ will come again. And so, Father, calling to mind his death on the cross, his perfect sacrifice made once for the sins of the whole world, rejoicing in his mighty resurrection and glorious ascension, and looking for his coming in glory, we celebrate this memorial of our redemption. As we offer you this, our sacrifice, with praise and thanksgiving, we bring before you this bread and this cup, and we thank you for counting us worthy to stand in your presence and serve you. Send the Holy Spirit on your people, and gather into one in your kingdom all who share this one bread and one cup, so that we, in the company of Mary, the Virgin Mother of God, with the Apostles, the Martyrs, St. John the Evangelist, our Patron, and all the Saints, may praise and glorify you forever through Jesus Christ, our Lord, by whom and with whom and in whom, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all honour and glory be yours, Almighty Father, for ever and ever. Amen. With the Lord present among us, we have confidence to pray as he taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and for ever. Amen. We break this bread to share in the body of Christ. Though we are many, we are one body because we all share in one bread. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Grant us your peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him that takes away the sin of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy to receive you, but only say the word, and I shall be healed. Corpus Christi.
Let us pray. Having received the sacrament of salvation and of faith, we humbly beseech you, O Lord, that we who devoutly honour the Blessed Virgin Mary may be worthy to share with her in the charity of heaven, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. May the blessing of God Almighty, Father, Son and Holy Spirit come down upon you to dwell deep within you this day and for evermore. Amen. As is ended, go forth and announce the gospel. Thanks be to God. <laughs>